Tony was the walk-off. the story. Uh, we're all ready to shoot the uh, motorcycle vampire show just as soon as you say the word, Mr. Warkoff. If you don't mind, sir, I'd like you to take a look at the guest list uh, for your testimonial banquet. Mm, is that it? This isn't what I came to hear. You dummies! I'm in the movie business. I'm not a caterer. Cigar! You talk to me about the quarterly reports, I'll tell you if you don't know, they stink. I want to hear about blockbuster grosses. Everybody's making money but me. Will you hurry up with that cigar? Counts to be down here. I, mm, Castro. What I want is a buffo sacco kiss my grosses movie. Give them the book. Do you know this book? The Happy Hooker? Sounds right up your alley, Rodman. This is a great book. Millions of people love this book. I want this book to be a blockbuster movie. You hear me? I want it to be bigger than the sound of music. Oh, it's going to be a musical? Oh, shut up, you dummy. If you want to keep on being my son-in-law, you get me this book, you get me this girl. This uh, writer hooker, what's her name? Xaviera Hollander. Hey, smart boy. Takes after his mother. He's gone places. You two, what are you? Big shot producers? I'm sure that even you are aware that I can't live forever. I want you to prove to me that one of you has enough balls to run this place. And how do you do that, you whiner, you diner? I don't care if you have to kiss on tuckers, but give me the rights to this book. So what are you waiting for? A bus? Get me, Xavier Hollander! downtown were right, Xavier. 
you are the best. Do they really say that? <laughs> oh, yeah. And more. But of course, they're very respectful. Of course. It's always a pleasure to serve New York's finest. Ah. Uh, only wish there was some way I could let you keep that. But you see, it's from the evidence locker and it's got to go back. You sweet little boy in blue. Just consider this my contribution to the policeman's board. Now. You better run along and catch some bad men. Right. <laughs> I'll probably never see you again. My name doesn't get to the top of the list again until sometime in 1993. So thanks. Yes, Saviera. Maxine, darling, please tell Laurie and Susie I'd like to see them. Will do. Also, lawyer George is here. He says it's urgent. Ask him to wait in my office. I'll be right down. Safira says you're very good. Oh, does she really? I suppose it must be very hard. I am? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it is. <laughs> oh, don't bother getting up, George. Max, would you ask Sylvia if she would model that new outfit for George? Oh. We'll let a man decide. Saviera, you look wonderful. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Lori, you've been working on that piece forever. I know. There never seems to be enough time. Well, what is it? Position 23 from the Kama Sutra. It's my favorite book. Oh, after yours, Zafira. That's what I came to tell you. Your book. They want your book. They want to make it into a movie. Hollywood wants your book. Hollywood? I got a call from a um, Joseph E. Rotman. Now, I, I did some research, and this Rotman is a producer for Warcoff Brothers Studio. W.B. Warcoff? The same. And Rotman wants to know if you're available to go to L.A. and talk it over. What'd you tell him? Nothing. I told him I'd discuss it with you first, and then we'd let him know. Oh, good. Sylvia, darling, you look absolutely divine. Come, show George. She's been trying her hand at fashion design. Would you believe she's entirely self-taught? She made this unbelievable dress for me, George. You'll have to come upstairs sometime and see it off me. Oh, yes. Max, guess who's going to Hollywood? Yes, they're going to make Xavier's book into a movie. I haven't said yes yet, Susie. Hmm. Yeah, but you will when you hear about the money. How much are they going to pay? Film rights to bestseller could go for as much as three million. And it's legal? Holy shit! <laughs> be careful, Xavier. Those Hollywood characters can be awfully slick. Oh, Max, why are you so negative? Warcoff Brothers Studio wants to make her book into a movie, and I think it's absolutely wonderful. Really, I do. So do I. But Max has a point. That's why I've decided to take their offer and go to Los Angeles. Oh, All right. Good. If they're going to make a film about me, I want to make sure they do it right. Yeah, you tell them, honey. Seven from New York have now arrived at gate 35. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, oh, God. Uh, 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 Miss, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Miss, uh, Miss, Ho I'm sorry, excuse me. Miss Hollander, um, ex excuse me. Miss, Miss Hollander, uh, I. What's your name? Chuck. Thank you, Miss Hollander. My pleasure. Pardon me. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Miss Hollander. Yes? <laughs> of course. I'm sorry. Do you have a pen? Oh. Thank you. What's your name? Robbie. Uh, Robert Rotman. <laughs> Rod. 
You're not. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Please, sign it. Aren't you rather young to be a producer? I expected someone with a pot belly. Oh, that's my father, Joseph Fee. He's very sorry he couldn't make it, and I, I hope you're not insulted or anything. Oh, not at all. His stand-in is charming. Why don't we go and have a drink and let the chauffeur come and get the luggage? If your father is half as persuasive as you are, I may be in a lot of trouble. Lead on. Passengers from TWA flight number seven of New York. Yes, yes, I like that very much. Oh, you're marvelous. Oh, yeah, Mr. Rodman, please. Over here, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Da 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 da. One more, Miss. Must fly, boys. One more. Ow! Well, you're certainly a nice piece of work. Well, thank you, Miss Hollander. Mr. Rotman asked me to make sure that all your needs were taken care of. My name is... Oh, no, please don't tell me. Might be more fun that way. Yet. Sit down, be quiet. It's just getting started. Rita's hey, guest hey is get out of the way, the kid. I can't see. Author of the bestseller, The Happy Hooker. And now, here's Rita. So, uh, tell me, Cinderella. It's not Cinderella, it's Daviera. If you prefer, I wasn't aware that you could pronounce it both ways. You can't. In any case, I'm sure our viewers would like to know what vitamins you took to recover so quickly from that massive plastic surgery. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is the Rita Peter show. We let it all hang out. So please, Serrano Rolla, don't be inhibited. I never do, and it's Xaviera. Would you like to ask me about my book? Oh, you write, too? Yes. It's called The Happy Hooker, and I'm proud to say it's doing very well. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm sure that'll help to pay for having your eyes, thighs, and breasts done. Oh, but tell me, darling, the question that must be on everyone's mind. Have you slept with anyone interesting since coming to Hollywood? You mean, besides you? This title, The Happy Hooker, is it really about you know what? To tell the truth, I thought it was about making rugs. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. I like her style. What do you think, W.B.? I think women should be felt and not heard. Yes, Miss Hollander. Tell me, is this Rita Beater always so charming? Always. The studio put you on her show to see how tough you are under pressure. Did I pass their little test? Oh, with flying colors, ma'am. What would your employers think about your giving away their secrets? I don't care. A lady like you should be treated with respect. Charming. Disloyalty like yours should be rewarded. Would you like some champagne? Well. Thanks. But not while I'm driving, ma'am. Then you'd better pull over. A lady like me should never drink alone.
see, this movie could be big. I don't think you realize how big this movie could be. Oh, but I think I do. My publisher says that the book will be on the bestseller list forever. Book schmucks. Do you know anybody who reads books? Books are made for coffee tables or for something to look at while you're sitting on the toilet. But movies, movies are made for the world. And that takes vision. And I have that vision. Mr. Warcoff has that vision. Great man, Mr. Warcoff. I'm sure he is. Believe me, WB has his finger on the pulse of the world. Did you hear that? Not the nation, the world. It must be very stimulating for a man of his age. Zaviara. Joseph. Look at that wall. What do you see? Nothing. A wall. Of course you see a wall. But I see movies. That's why I'm a producer and you're a prost... Uh, uh, what you are. Don't be embarrassed, Joseph. As it says in the book, I'm a hooker. And a very good one. Proud. I like that. Very proud. I do my best. Where was I? You were talking to the wall. I look at the wall, and I see you as a little child in your native Sweden. Holland. Whatever. I see you in your teenage years, orphaned and poor, unable to pay your boarding school tuition alone in a world too cruel for you and your innocence to understand. Your teachers take advantage of you, forcing you into a life of sin and depravity. Whatever makes you say that? What? Oh, I, I saw it on the wall. But it's not in my book. No such thing ever happened. But it could have happened. That's what I mean by vision, imagination. We have to build up the audience's sympathy. After you, Denise. Thank you, Mr. Lamley. Bonjourno. Oh, Dennis, um, uh, set up right over there. It'll be fine. Oh, Lamley, I want you to see this stuff. Here, let me give you a hand. Thank you, Joseph. This is very important. Yes. Really sell. Yes, I will. You are a fan. Uh, Dennis here did uh, all the sets for my last film, The Leather Boys of Venus. Went to art school and everything. Uh, show us what you got, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis, <laughs> show us what you got. Well, but so far, I've been concentrating on the layouts. <laughs> Tacky phrase, I know, for Miss Hollander's New York brothel, as it will be seen in the film. I see it as an east side brownstone. Hmm? These large windows here at street level will serve as showcases for the girls to display their wares and lure the tricks in off the street. They do that a lot in New York City. Inside will have many rooms, all designed to satisfy the varied tastes of Xavier's clientele. And now... <laughs> uh, the private torture chamber for the s and sequence. The walls are all done in black vinyl. The manacles and leg irons are chromium. It's all very butch. Brilliant, Dennis. Thank you. Well, you can almost feel the whips. What do you think, Lamely? Unbelievable. I took the liberty of having the prop department work up this little baby. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the color would zing out against the black vinyl and add sort of a feminine touch. Uh, uh, may I uh, hold that? All of this creativity makes now, me rather hungry. Would you care to join me? We could start with lunch. And after lunch? Let your appetite be your guide. I'd love to. Oh, but, you know, no real, no real marbles. Where are you going with her, Lamely? We haven't finished taking our meeting. Joseph, darling, it's all too much for me to deal with on an empty stomach. Ciao. You really should do something about that wall, Joseph. Very dull. 
Mr. Rotman. No, oh, shut up, you faggot. Oh, Mary. Thank you, Emil. Thank you, Mr. Lindley. I think we've exhausted the subject of Joseph Rotman. In a town filled with stupid people. Let's just say that he's the most uh, boorish and most tasteless. You dismiss people easily. Rotman's easy to dismiss. What do you want? I want to make the film of your book. I want to make love to you. <laughs> In that order. Let's get out. This is California. Let's do something wonderful in the sun. you guys together tonight. Marianna Miles are probably the most talented screenwriting team in this town. Let me say this right up front, Xaviero. Marion and I both read your book, and we were very excited about the possibilities for film. What amazed me was that your Johns are so young. Now, excuse me, Marion, but uh, in the book, Xaviero calls them customers. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can I freshen your drinks, Marion? Miles? No, we're fine. Xavier? Hurry, right, back. Send you, darling. Why don't you just sign the bitch, give her her money, and send her back to New York? It's not that easy, Chris. <laughs> um, maybe you're beginning to like your little Dutch tart. Yeah, don't do a jealous number on me. <laughs> if you want that part, you'll just let me handle it my way. Why don't you let me handle you my way? Uh, Chris, uh, please. <laughs> maybe not now. Not now. Not now. What? You think you're such a big man taking freebies from a whore? That's uh, really ugly, Chris. <laughs> well, you're not so cute yourself. I must confess, Saviera, that I've always bought that myth about madams being old, run-down prostitutes, but here you are, and you're very beautiful. Why, thank you, Miles. Oh, I think so, too. You know, you should both come to New York and see the operation for yourselves. Sounds delightful. I'll bet it does. 
Oh, don't worry, Marion. I think we can take care of both of you. <laughs> Hello there. Where have you been? Oh, Jack McMartin trapped me into talking about some crazy deal. What could I do? Why do you waste your time with that jerk? Uh, there's no percentage in being rude, Miles. How are you getting along? Very well, I think. Yes. Well, if Marion and Miles will write the screenplay, you've just bought yourself a book. That's wonderful. Uh, mm, we haven't talked money yet. Oh, let's not haggle, darling. I'm sure you can afford me. <laughs> let's dance. Yowza! <laughs> It's a sure idea of a joke. I think it's rather amusing. Xaviera, you're fantastic. 
Yes, yes, you're so fantastic. Now you have a record of your conquest. Why the hell did you do this? Call it actor's research. If I'm going to play that pig, I ought to know what kinds of grunts she makes when she's in heat. You're going to blow the whole deal. Do you know that? I still don't have her name on a contract. <sighs> Lionel Langley, the great seducer. Well, you didn't have to go to sleep with that whore for any deal. Would you keep your voice down? You if she hears just want to put another notch you right on your, your belt. Voice down? Well, let her hear me. If she does, it's all right. Don't she knows what stubborn. she is. Look, I'm doing this for you. You haven't worked in a year and a half. Hmm? So if you're smart, you just get out of here before she wakes up. Don't start believing your own bullshit. You're doing this for you. Sure I am. Old man Workoff wants that property so bad he'd sell his soul. And until he gets it, I'm going to do whatever I have to to be his good little boy. I'm going to make this film. And I'm going to run that studio. Okay. Good morning, darling. You sleep well? I just woke up. Good. We, we have company. Do we? Mm -hmm. Chris is a, a neighbor, an actress, and uh, I've known her for a long time. How nice. She's been dying to meet you. Well, I told her I couldn't wake you. Well, now that you've met me, you won't die, will you? No. <laughs> of course not. Uh, but she's going to have to leave. Oh, but she doesn't. You can stay and have breakfast, won't you? Thank you. I think I will. Darling, and now that we have only two grapefruit, I think you should have mine. No! Remember that movie, Langley? Here's a new twist for you. Miss Howard. Goodbye, Miss Howard. Sup, yeah! What do you want? Uh, from you, Mr. Lamely, nothing. Can I give you a lift? Excuse me, Miss Hollander, but I have something here I'd like very much for you to read. Beat it. Oh, maybe some other time. Uh, you may remember at our last meeting 20 feet ago, I told you I had something I'd like to show you. I still have it. What is it? What do you want? I've written a film treatment of your book. I'd like you to read it. I have tolerated your father's kinky fantasies. I have listened while he painted his little pictures on the wall. I have been lied to, whined, dined, and seduced by a bastard. Me, imagine, conned right out of my pants. I have had it. Understand? Had it. I understand you've had it. Well, what about the film? <laughs> what about it? I don't care. I'm going back to New York. Oh, really? On foot? It's an awful long way. <laughs> Come on. Uh... Robbie, this is very good. I'm glad you like it. I really believe in the things you were saying in your book. I can see that. You know your father or lamely never bothered to read my book? <laughs> You're probably right. So what do you say? 
Well, what can I say? Robbie, you're a nice guy, and I like your ideas for the film, but I wouldn't go near Walk Off Brothers Studios for love or money. What am I saying? <laughs> forget Walk Off. Forget all of them. I will, but who's going to make the movie? We will. I told you to buy a book. A simple thing. All you did was spend a lot of money and make me look like a jerk. But Mr. Wa Shut up, dummy! Your son, he's a traitor. He's helping that hooker, I tell you. If I don't make this movie, nobody does. Find out where the money's coming from and stop it. Did you hear me good? Stop that movie! The Bolton, Nist, Nine! Come on, Shakespeare. Rise and shine. Your typewriter awaits. Mm. Mm. The music swells her delicate fingers. Massage oil into his chest. <laughs> I made some nudes. Some nudes. bank on the list they never heard of her well if she isn't getting money from the bank she isn't dealing with any other studio where, where is she, she getting, getting the money, money? Pleasure Productions. Let me switch you to the production department. Hello, Pleasure Productions. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Lori's busy at that time. But I can make an appointment and for you. Xavier wants to see you. Xavier. I beg your pardon. May I help you, sir? Uh, a friend of mine gave me this address, but uh, I'm not really sure if I'm in the right place. What exactly did you want? I uh, made a reservation by phone. Yes, sir. I wanted to... Uh, could you tell me where I could find... Uh, little Bo Peep? Oh, she's right at the top of the stairs. <sighs> she's expecting you. I, I must have the wrong room.
For that much film and uh, the processing, it uh, comes to this. That's quite a bit, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm sure we can arrange credit. I don't believe in credit. With me, it's cash or barter. <laughs> well, I've always liked cash myself. <laughs> barter. What have you got to trade that's, that's worth this? I see. Not yet, you haven't. Hey, have you seen our uh, dark room facilities? I thought you'd never ask. Best in Hollywood. <laughs> Watch your step here. Be very careful. You just go right on in, and <clears throat> I'll be right there. And I've lost my sheep. Oh, where, oh, where may I find them? Get along, old Saint. We ought to head along for the path. Yeah. What big eyes you have. If you're looking for Little Red Riding Hood, you're in the wrong room. Bah. Oh, bah. Mm. <laughs> bah. Bah. Ain't gonna be no rest for this cowgirl till we get all the bad guys locked up in the boost cow. Oh, right cowgirl. Oh. What other crimes is this piece of filth guilty of? Two counts of failing to give a seat up on a bus to a woman. Three lashes. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ooh! Happy birthday to you. We need a house we can shoot as the East Hampton Mansion. Amber and Susie for that. They're upstairs. Poor baby. There'll be time for that later. I don't know if I can make it. Stick with me, kid. I'll make you a director. You promise? <laughs> yes, this is wonderful. You? The wonderful. basement? Yes. No, no, no. Um, upstairs is perfect. Mm -hmm. um, how many bedrooms did you say? Seven. Uh-huh. But, of course, you know, we have two complete bedrooms on the ground floor. Good, good. Well, what uh, happened to your two friends? I've seen two... Oh, uh... Amber and Susie. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they're all right. It's a big house. Yes, it is. It comes even complete with a game room, including a billiard table. We only need the house for two days. Oh, no, no, no. We usually don't rent by the day. But I, I think I could manage both of them. I mean, two days, two days, two days, fine, fine. About the rent. I was hoping you were going to say that I was looking at it. Is that really what you want? Don't forget to call your shot. Right. Matter of fact, I was just hoping you'd say that. Oh. 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 All of this goes back there against the wall, please. Move it, ladies. You were doing the camera rental place 20 minutes ago. Hi. I'm here for an audition. Uh, casting is to the right of the stairs. 
Robbie, you're needed in casting. Be right there. Okay. We're averaging just over six hundred dollars an hour. It's not good enough. Well, maybe I better go upstairs and see if I can't just. Oh no! Go. Finish the count. Go into casting. I'll take care of upstairs. We never have any fun around here. Did I get this in? Uh, upstairs, second door on the right. Amber, I need to talk with you. Oh, you got well. Delicatessen! Come in! <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, man. Oh, Whoa! 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 <laughs> Joy Packer. Oh, I'm Joy Packer. <laughs> Mr. Rotman will see you now. Right this way. Mr. Rotman. This is Joy Pecker. Hi. I'm Joy Pecker. And I'm Robbie Rotman. <laughs> Won't you have a seat? Thanks. Let's see here. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I have to get to work. Please, please, I have to get back to work. Don't you want your sandwich? You want to hold it? You're a young one. Most of the time, they're so old. <laughs> well, I'm almost brand new. <laughs> Um, I'd like to do my piece for you. It's a classic. Yeah. Uh, well, well, I'm I'm sure it is. But wouldn't you rather just read? That's all right. I've done this so many times that I know it by heart. Oh. Ooh. It's by William Shakespeare. Good old Bill. I would not, though tis my familiar way with men, to play the lapwing and to jest, tongue. Far from heart, play with all virgins so. I hold you. Oh. I hold you as a thing in sky and sainted. Thank you, Mrs. Pegger. Thank you, Mr. Rotman. Don't mention it. I think the uh, interview is over now. Paddle stations! Paddle stations! And we ship all around us! We're getting no, 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 Please, no more, no more. Oh, no, 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 who had the corned beef and brisket combo? Whoa! Well, hello there, sailor. Two plus a hundred, five twenty, four two six, hundred and fifty nine. Oh, look at that. Eight hundred. Thank you. Plus eight. Xavier. Where's it, Xavier? Xavier. <laughs> Today's total. Come on, tell us. <laughs> what is it? Come on. Max, I want you and George to help me with the press release. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Robbie, I want you to go and tell the other girls right. upstairs. <laughs> now. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> you walk. Someone get some champagne. We're all gonna make a movie. Oh, yeah.
See it, Mr. Warkoff. There's no way that a bunch of prostitutes are going to make a film that can hurt us. That's not what I want to hear, Emily. I'm very disappointed in both you guys. I ask you, is it so difficult for you two big shots to buy the rights for some little book? I ask you to close down a fly-by-night production, and what do I get? Headlines in Variety. I guess it's time I showed you boys what it really means to get tough. Give me a minute. You know, when I say tough, you know, I don't mean like tough. Xavier a Hollander? <laughs> no, I could never be Xaviera. She's on the set. We're making a movie. I know, I know. I'm from the camera rental. You know, we haven't received payment. You know what I mean? It's been two days. Uh, Xaviera can't be disturbed now. She's emoting. Are you sure there isn't a... Uh, some mistake? Oh, uh, there's no mistake. We really need that payment. These are hard times. Mm. <laughs> I know it is. You know, this movie making goes very, very slowly. I guess I'll just have to wait. Oh, I wouldn't want you to have to do that. Uh, why don't you come along with me, and I'm sure I can arrange for you to get everything you deserve. Hmm. seen Lori? Yeah, she's making a payment on the camera rental. What do you mean? That's all been taken care of. Oh, I don't know. The guy just drove up in the van. Uh-oh. We don't use ACDC. All right, come on, let's go. Hands against the trail and spread them. I wouldn't let you do that anyway, you creep. Yeah, come on, baby. This ain't no social call. Simple and clean. Very efficient. Well, which one of you wants to buy me lunch? All right, all right. We're pushing around. Do be careful with the nails. I'd hate to lose one. Everybody, take lunch. We'll meet back in the office in two hours. Four o'clock, okay? Okay, thank you later. Two thousand apiece, George. Why didn't you argue about the bail? Hey, there was nothing I could do about it. You know, you got some very powerful enemies. Don't I know it. They just cost us a big chunk of the budget, and we haven't got a foot of film to show for it. You're really serious about this film thing, aren't you? I never take anything too seriously or for too long, George, but I do not like to be pushed around. Yeah, but you're on their turf. What are you going to do about it? Fight back. Dirty for dirty. Hello, CJ. Good to see you. Good evening. Hello. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, sir. Joseph E. Rotman. Yes, sir. I was told you had a message for me. Oh, well, let me check. Here it is. Thank you. Dearest Joseph, I'm too tired to fight my true emotions. You've made me love you, darling. I'm ready to deal. I am your slave, so please be kind. Room 583, 10 o'clock. Love, Xavier. Great evening, Lionel. You did a wonderful job. Thank you, Joseph. Nice of you to say. Yeah, well, I better get inside. Can't miss the old man's speech. Of course not. <clears throat> Dusk. Oh, yes, sir. Lionel Lane. Yes. You have a message for me. Oh, I'll check. Is there anything else I can do for you, Mr. Langley? My darling, I now know better than to try to make it without you. I pray it's not too late for us to start again. Isn't it time we negotiated? Room 581-1005 tonight. Waiting for your love, Xavier. you look in your tuxedo. Let me see from the back. Ooh, what cute buns you have. To be honest, I really wasn't sure whether or not you'd want to come. Well, I, could, I couldn't believe it was for me. I mean, I never dreamed. Oh, this is not a dream, Joseph. Don't underestimate yourself. Men like you have a strange and powerful attraction on a woman. We do. I think it's your total lack of vanity that I find so disarming. <laughs> Ooh. What the hell are you doing? this elevator. Some guy said it was a party on seven. This damn thing only goes to six. What do you think? Huh? Damn kids. They rush around. They try to, try to push all the buttons. 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 Please, darling. This means too much for us to rush. We have all night, Joseph Love. Where are you going? Make yourself comfortable. It's going to be a long and bumpy night. I think I'll slip into something a little less confining. Less confining. If you find a party, you know where to find me. Ah, Zaviera, it's almost five after. Okay. 
Don't forget the phone. Can you ever forgive me? It's just that I get so jealous. Oh, that's the past. It's the now that interests me. I've made some special arrangements for you tonight. Promise me, darling, you'll stay right where you are. Sayonara, they'd have to drag me out of here. They just might have to. What do you think? Perfect. <laughs> Joseph, I have this hunger. I have this need to be held, loved, possessed. No, please, stay right where you are. Promise me you'll do exactly as I say. Uh, uh, tell me, tell me. I'm going into the bedroom. Yes, yes. I'll turn off all the lights, and then I'll lie down on the bed. Wonderful, wonderful. And when the moment is perfect, I'll call for you, and you'll come to me in all your naked splendor. So you're on. You've kept me waiting. But things are worth waiting for, darling. I promise you, tonight will be the most memorable night of your life. So why don't you get out of your stuffy clothes? And I'll call you into the bedroom when we're ready. This is getting interesting. Samira, who's in there? You're ruining the surprise. The lights will be out, lover, so you'll just have to feel things out for yourself. Xavier? Hmm? Don't disappoint me. I won't. Okay, okay, go, go. Okay, stud buns, come and get your bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Don't say a word, my love. Just come to me. Oh! Oh! I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's very simple. We found these in the elevator, and we're turning them into lost and found. You do have one. Don't you? Oh. Oh, why, yes. Thank you. Ladies. You'd think you never met an honest woman. Oh, bite your tongue. <laughs> it's locked from the other side. 
locked, though. It's locked, too. Damn! It's dead. You have lousy connections, Rodman. Oh, is that your solution to throw things? Well, what's your answer, smartass? She's taken the towels, the curtains, and the sheets, and all she left us with is that. Oh, no. You've got a better solution? I'd rather be caught dead. You want to stay here all night? There are some things I won't do, and this is one of the things I won't do. I can't, I couldn't, and I won't. Cancel Pittsburgh. I'm in love. You and your smart ideas. You've never looked lovelier, Joseph. Hey, hey, don't be angry. I just want to know how much it was for the two of you. Oh, hello, Mr. Langley, Mr. Rodman. It's a Clinet. Yes, sir. Mrs. Lamely. Well, so listen, honey. If your, if your friend over there doesn't want to go party, let you and I go out and have, have a little fun by ourselves, huh? Get your slimy <laughs> hands uh, off of me. Well, well what? What? Oh. What are you talking to him for? I wasn't talking to him. He was talking to me. That's all right, girls. You, you just talk it over. You get lost. Uh, get lost? Catch this. Another Saturday night in Tinseltown. Everybody's trying to be Peter Pan. You want, you want me to go? I'll go. But I just think you're, you're gorgeous. All I wanted is one kiss. Just give me one big one right here. Oh, you want a big one? Well, kiss this. Freeze. Hello from Hollywood. I'm Rita Beter, and by now the world is familiar with the events known as Studio Gate. Charges of moral bankruptcy among movie lens most powerful have sent stock in Warcroft Brothers Studios rocketing downward. The question now is, what can W.B. Warcroft do to restore the public's faith in his dying empire? Well, the talk here in Tinseltown is that only a reunification with Xaviera Hollander's Happy Hooker, now in production, can save Warcroft Brothers Studios from its sagging state. It wouldn't surprise this reporter if talks between the two were in the offing. So, Xaviera. So, W.B. <laughs> All this craziness, where will it stop? Where? I hurt you, you hurt me. Nobody profits, true? Now look, let's not fool around the bush. You read the papers, you know I have troubles, but 
What you read is only the tip of the iceberg. I've got a new theater, big theater, opening in 30 days. Would you believe I got no picture to open it with? I was depending on it being the happy hooker, but now, oh, come on, darling, I'm sorry about that. I'm willing to let bygones be like spilled milk. So why don't you let sleeping dogs do that and let me make it up to you? I'll pay whatever it costs for you to finish your film. All you have to do is deliver by 6 o'clock on 25th of February, and I pay you $5 million. Did you hear that good? If you can deliver on time for the opening of my new theater, I'll pay you five million big ones. If you don't, no $5 million, and I own the picture. Stop already with the orders. What the hell is this, a Jewish luau? Stop, I'm talking. Well, what do you say? Do we sign the contracts? I'll have to discuss it with my partners. Well, of course. Thanks for the lunch. Don't mention it. Tell Greedo and Dominic I want to see them. Now! Looks good. It's almost too good. He obviously believes we can't deliver on time. He's willing to gamble five million on it. What do you think? Is there anything Grandpa can do that'll slow production? Not according to this. We'd have to work around the clock, huh? Honey, for a split of five million, I'll sleep later. <laughs> really? Right. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. We can do it. We can do it. Oh. <laughs> No, Robbie. If you pull this one off, you're going to be a very rich young man. What, are you kidding? If I pull this one off, Grandpa's going to have to make me chairman of the board. Ooh. <laughs> ready? 20, take four. Move, move in. Is that good? Move in. Okay, ready? Go. Go. Go, 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 go. Beautiful. Move. Move it around. Move it around. Good? That's good. Good. Now, come on down. Come down. Come on, Chris. Come down. Okay, that's good. Now, bring it around to me. Come around to me. Come around to... That's good, that's good. Stroke the tiger. Stroke the tiger. Back up, back up the line, man. Back up the vine. That's beautiful. Vine between the things. Stroke that vine. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is good. This is good. Good, good, good. That's good. That's good. Have they cut the phones yet? I'll check. Not yet. Call Jake at the lab and make sure that we'll have the film by six. Jake, hello. This is Maxine from Pleasure Productions. Oh, that's great. Hold on. They can deliver the film to the theater. No, we'll pick up the film. I don't want to take any chances. Right. Uh, thank you anyway, but we'll pick it up. Six o'clock. Hmm. Oh, well, you too. Bye. Uh, our film will be ready at six o'clock. Good. That gives us plenty of time to get it to the theater by eight o'clock. Right. <sighs> Do you realize in a few hours we're going to be rich? Fiddle-dee-dee. I'll think about that tomorrow. Frankly, my dear, hot damn. Uh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Grab these two and let's get out of here. You don't move, okay? I beg your pardon? Glad you feel that way. Come on, let's get going. Ah. No, it's a cut. Print that one. Easy there, CB. We're just at the lab. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, in that case, ladies, let us go pick up our tickets to Fame and Fortune. 
told you. Yeah. You two go. I'll wait here in the car. Okay. Thanks, kid. Oh, hey, always glad to help out a fellow filmmaker. <laughs> Bobby? Yeah, love? I didn't know you could have two films with the same title. Well, I don't think you can. Why? Well, those two guys, uh -huh. they were carrying a film that had the same exact title as ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they must have taken our movie. Yeah, you're right about that one, honey. Come on. Come on. I'm coming. Wait for me. Come on. <laughs> Let's get this stuff to walk up, Hey, stop. You're stealing our movie. new epic film, The Happy Hooker. And here come some of the beautiful participants in the William B. Warkoff film now. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, this is a gala evening in Hollywood, as you can tell. And it is indeed a very glamorous one as well. This is a brand new theater joining the chain of William B. Warkoff theaters here in beautiful Hollywood. And here are some of the glamorous people And I think, ladies and gentlemen, yes, indeed, now arriving is the star of the Happy Hooker, ladies and gentlemen, Xaviera Hollander. Miss Xaviera Hollander herself. Good evening, Xaviera. Oh, hello, Army. Oh, you look so beautiful. Thank you, you thank you. Oh, well, I'm just so excited. I'm so nervous. Oh, my God, I really am. And we worked so hard for this. I'm thrilled to be here. Can I talk to you afterwards? Because I'm just so nervous. Of course. We'll see All you right. right after the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Xaviera Hollander, the thank star you. of the Happy Hooker. They're getting close, and damn it. Whoever believes that the glamour days of Hollywood are gone, well, he should be here tonight. And you know, there are so many new and beautiful faces here. And what fits it more than the opening of a new and a beautiful theater? And we also have some faces that we already know so very well. And uh oh, yes it is. It is indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the truly great men of our industry, Mr. William B. Warkoff. Bobby, how are you? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see you looking so well, WB. You must be very excited about the premiere tonight and also your lovely new theater. Thank you very much, Ami. And I... Ami, where's the camera? Is that it over there? I'm very happy. I'm glad they're not saying anything right now. Let the public decide for themselves, if you don't mind. You see, there's one thing I really know after all these years in this business, you never know how the public will react. Sometimes you think you're going to a real winner. What happens when it gets into the theater? There's nothing up there, and I mean nothing. So if you don't mind, I'll wait till later. Right now, I won't say anything about it. However, I remember in the house in days the way Georgie Jessel used to speak. Yes, I'm sure you remember about Georgie Jessel. Ladies and gentlemen, W.B. Warkoff. It's 20 of 8. What do you mean there's no film? I'm getting scared, George. I hope they're all right. Uh, oh, ah, uh, something wrong is up here. Huh? You look like you got opening night butterflies. That must be it. <laughs> uh, well, for a man about to shell out $5 million, Mr. Warkoff, you seem very calm. Oh. All part of the game, son. Don't give it a second thought. <laughs> All right, move it. Hey, hey, hey! Faster, faster! Hey, all right, I'm getting faster. You want to drive? Come on, the road. Come on. I'm gonna run away. Get yourself some popcorn, I'll join you inside, okay? Well, Miss Producer, are you ready to start? Almost. Why don't you go in and get a seat? For what this is costing you, Mr. Walkoff? 
You shouldn't miss a moment. Don't worry. I wouldn't miss this for all the money in the world. Ta-ta. Who's fooling who? I'm starting to get sick of this, you know. Where the hell are we running? Look out! They shouldn't have done that. They're behind us now. Well, what are they doing behind us? We're supposed to be chasing them. <laughs> what are you chasing them for? You crazy? Look at what they did to my car. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> I liked it more when they were in front of us. What time is it, Lori? Oh, math, it's almost eight. Come on, George. There they are. Please, Queen of Dust! I don't want to die! Please! Coming soon to a Warcraft Brothers Theater near you. Boy, am I gonna enjoy not saying this. <laughs> now, Warcraft Brothers Theaters is proud to present its premier attraction. Here goes nothing. Candy, candy pills, pills. We'll miss the beginning. You sure should, when I ask for a pill. Kathy, a pill, pill, Here, pill. Take one of these and shut up. Shut this up. This looks good. I'm having a, a kissy. Are you a little boy <laughs> or a little girl? They do grow them big in Texas, don't they? All of you at one time. Oh, shut <laughs> up! <laughs> Judging by the expressions on their faces, we can safely say the Happy Hooker is a smash hit. And here comes W.B. Warkoff. Looks like you've got a hit, W.B. Yeah, yeah, big hit. Makes me very happy. What are you doing with the microphone? We're still on camera. Oh, I've believed in this project for a long time. I'm grateful to the public for liking it so much. Is it true that the young man who wrote and directed this film is your grandson? Yes, his mother's my daughter. She's married to this fellow. I forget his name. I predict this young boy will be one of the great filmmakers of this or any generation. As in the awful words of Georgie Jessel once said, give me youth, give me a halcyon boy who will make a motor. Thank you, WB. Yes, WB. Thank you very much. And here comes the star of The Happy Hooker, Xaviera Hollander. Congratulations. Thank you, Army. This must be quite a night for you. Why, Army, when you see our movie, you'll know that I'm basically a night person. Do you have plans for another movie? First, I have to write another book, perhaps about my experiences in Hollywood. And right now, I'm on my way back to New York to take care of the business of pleasure. Goodbye, Army. Goodbye, Xaviera. Goodbye, all you wonderful people. Goodbye, Xaviera. Can't you see? 